All right, let's go ahead and simplify this expression. To simplify this, all we're doing is looking for the same variable, or unknown in this case, which is w. And they have to have the same exponent as well. So I usually start from left to right. And let's start first with this negative 15.2 times w to the power of 5. That is our first term. And if we look through this problem, there are no other like terms with that negative 15.2w to the power of 5. Because all of these other w's have powers of 4 and 3 and, well, these other 4's here as well. So that negative 15.2w to the power of 5, it's pretty much going to stand alone. And that takes us to the next term, which is negative 8.1w to the power of 4. Now, once again, I'm not, I don't care so much about the coefficients of w to the power 4. I'm only considering the unknown or the variable and its power. Well, I have these other ones here as well, which means I could combine all of these together. And it may be helpful to notice that each term takes the operation to its left, whether it's addition or subtraction, as its sign. For example, we treat this as a negative 8.1. This is a negative 5.7, positive 13.6, and a positive 3. All of them multiplied by w to the power of 4. So if I stack these, I can combine all of them, and my final answer will have a w to the power of 4 as well, which in a way also allows me to ignore all of these w's. Now you may be asking why I would just kind of cancel them out or get rid of them. It's because now I know I just need to add and subtract these numbers. So I'd have a negative 8.1 minus 5.7 plus 13.6 plus 3, which would be a positive 2.8. Now how does that work as we simplify this? Since it's positive, it's going to be added to this negative 15w to the fifth. And that takes care of all but one of the terms, the last one being this 7 0.2w to the power of 3, and since there are no other like terms with that one, we can just add that to the current expression that we have. And as it turns out, this would be our final answer right here.